Question number 96. Read the following statements and select the correct option. Statement A. A gamete carries only one factor of a character. Yes, it is true that a gamete has only one factor of a character. Statement B. A modified allele cannot be a dominant allele. No, it is not correct. If modified allele produces the same T phenotype as the dominant allele, then the modified allele can behave and can be a dominant allele. So only B is incorrect or you can say only A is correct. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 97. Who developed the graphical representation to calculate the probability of possible genotypes of offsprings in a genetic cross? It's a fact. It's a memory based question that R.C. Punnett developed the graphical representation to calculate the probability of possible genotypes of the offspring. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number 98. In Mendelian dihybrid cross, what is the ratio of offsprings heterozygous for both the traits and offsprings heterozygous for single trait respectively? For this, you should know or you should remember that how many offsprings obtained are heterozygous for both the traits in Mendelian dihybrid cross and how many offsprings are heterozygous only for a single trait in Mendelian dihybrid cross. For the time period, I can tell you capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. This is a offspring which is heterozygous for both the traits. And these are four in Mendelian's dihybrid cross. Now, if you get this kind of offspring or the genotype in the offspring is capital R, small r, capital Y, capital Y. So either this or this both are heterozygous for a single trait only and the number for them is 8. So the ratio is 4 is to 8. So you can say it is 1 is to 2. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 99. Which of the given is not a test cross? What is a test cross? When we don't know the genotype of the dominant parent because dominant parent can show the genotype capital T, capital T, capital T, small t. In both the cases, you can see the phenotype only and the phenotype will be tall because we cannot see the genotype. We cannot see what is inside the plant, but yes, we can see the outside. So the phenotype will be tall only. So you won't know that this plant is heterozygous for its gene or it is homozygous for its genes. Now, you have to perform a cross to know the exact genotype of the plant and that cross is known as the test cross. So here you will cross with the recessive plant or the recessive parent to know the genotype of the dominant plant. This is the test cross. Now, first is tall pea plant cross with the dwarf pea plant. Definitely, if it is the tall plant and you are crossing with the dwarf plant, it will be a test cross. Second, yellow pod pea plant crosses with the green pod pea plant. Again, it's a test cross. It is true. Third, brown body drosophila, yellow body drosophila. Yes, brown body, it's a dominant wild type trait and you don't know whether it is heterozygous or homozygous. Then you can cross it with the yellow body drosophila to know the genotype. Yes, it is a type of test cross. Fourth one, red flowered four o'clock plant against snapdragon or the Mirabilis jalapa crosses with a white flowered four o'clock plant. It will not be a test cross. Why? Because if you are saying it is a red colored flower, it means the genotype is capital R, capital R only as it shows incomplete dominance. This is not the case of complete dominance. And if we we are saying it is white flowered, it means it is small r, small r only. If we say pink colored, it will be capital R, small r only. So it cannot be like that, that capital R, small r will be red colored. No, if it is red color, it means it is homozygous dominant genotype. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. 
let's move to the next question question number 100 term linkage was given by the term linkage was given by morgan so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's move to the next question